So you're listening to this podcast right now. What's up? Thanks for hitting play, by the way. But what's your relationship with music like? And what is your relationship overall with the creative process? That's what this week's featured podcast trailer explores. Let's get started. This episode of Trailer Park is brought to us by our season one sponsor, Vocaster from Focusrite. You can win a Vocaster audio interface by clicking on the link and entering the contest in our show notes. Welcome to Trailer Park, the podcast trailer podcast. I'm Tim Viegas. Ariel Nissenblatt is my co-host, but she's not recording with me right now because she's gallivanting around Europe, probably stopping people on the streets and telling them to listen to this podcast. We'll be hearing from her later in the episode, I promise. On each episode of our show, we feature a podcast trailer, and then we talk about that trailer, and then we analyze whether or not it was effective or entertaining. We also include comments from the audio creator we feature and sometimes more. Trailer Park is a quick show meant to help listeners find their next favorite podcasts and to help creators learn how to make awesome audio content. Let's hit play on this week's music-focused trailer. It comes to us from Anthony Luciani and is called Stuck on Sound. I'll be back when it wraps to talk about it. And that's when we'll hear Ariel's take two from the streets of Vienna. Yeah, uh, this is a song I've been stuck on for a while, uh, a really long time. This is Stuck on Sound, a songwriting podcast that brings artists together to collaborate on the projects that have them stuck. Each week, we feature a musician with a song in progress that needs a little jump start. So originally, the idea was a part of a collection of musings that I sent to my writing partner. The pre didn't have the amount of energy that that the original idea had, so it sort of sat there in limbo after that. We hand the unfinished track over to a producer and give them 48 hours to work on it. I thought it was great. I thought you could tell that uh, the track really meant something to Kirsten, which I dug. And I felt like I immediately wanted to add some big claps and 808s. Oh man, when I first heard that chorus line, I immediately thought pedal steel. It needs pedal steel. What results is an inside look at the creative process and possibly a brand new sound. At first, it sort of felt like, uh, like almost like a remix, as if the song had been done and then he remixed it. But then it evolves into something so much more and definitely more dynamic and more lush. And it made me actually really inspired to to work work on it again. Alex's uh, melody was in my head. Hello. Stuck on Sound is a show about what happens when artists open the door to joining forces and sharing sounds. We're mixing styles, crisscrossing ideas, and combating writer's block one song at a time. This is Stuck on Sound, coming soon to your favorite podcast network. Hey, Ariel, how's Europe? What are your thoughts on this trailer? Hi, Tim, and hi, listeners. So I am in Vienna right now, but I'm not on the streets recording this. I decided to go inside so that I could get better audio quality. But I have been having a really great time here. I know you didn't ask for my my dispatch from Europe, but I was here for Radio Days Europe. It was really fun. It was in Prague. And then I decided to stick around and go to another city. So here I am now in Vienna. And I got to meet with an Austrian podcast studio today called Oh Wow, which was really fun. I got to talk to them about marketing. I really, really do love meeting podcast folks around the world. So if you're listening to this and you're not from the US, I want to come visit you, podcaster. So let us know in a review where you're listening from. And I'll plan a trip. Okay, so back to the question that you actually asked, Tim. What did I think of this trailer? 
I may have professed on an earlier episode that I'm not the biggest music consumer. If I haven't confessed that earlier, then here I am confessing it. I listen only to one radio station. It's called 107.1 The Peak. It's based in White Plains, New York, and it is perfect. (laughs) Other than that, I maybe hit play on Spotify once every three months if I'm hosting a party and I know that people like to listen to music. (laughs) I truly am constantly listening to podcasts. So when I heard that this trailer was about music, I was like, this could be a perfect combination for me. I love maker shows, shows that dive into the why behind a creator's latest thing. In podcasting, I love thinking about why someone decided to add an extra pause, for example, or to retake a line or to add in sound effects. So it was interesting to hear about this for music. I think the concept for this show is really, really strong and that the trailer was super entertaining. The pacing was quick and it kept me glued to my AirPods the whole way through. I was wondering what was going to come next, what sound was going to come through next, what really, what instrument was going to come through my ears. I wasn't bored once throughout it. My only possible point of criticism was, damn, this feels like it was tough to produce. And I wonder what that means for the future of this show. But I bet that's something that we'll get into later in this episode. Now, won't we? Anyway, that is all from me. Thank you for inserting this clip right now, Tim. Bye. Yeah, absolutely. I love this trailer. And I want to acknowledge how incredibly ambitious this idea was. The creative process, whether for music or a podcast, can be somewhat mysterious. And to take this on was an extraordinarily heavy lift. From finding the musicians to collecting all the music stems to the actual documentation of the production process, this podcast would be massive. And personally, I would totally listen. Even if you weren't necessarily a musician, I think as a creative, this podcast would be extremely valuable to you. We also had a chance to speak with Anthony about the making of the trailer and the overall Stuck on Sound project. Here is what he shared with us. (laughs) The show is mostly on a shelf. Most likely won't come to light, at least for a while. The initial plan was to build out a trailer and then a pilot and then shop it around. The hardest part of the show for me was trying to track down the artists with our like main music person, Ken, and also make sure to pay them because we are a team of creatives and doing the whole paying musicians and producers fairly is really important to us the design itself also took a lot of time like we needed to get access to the musicians stems and their loops and everything like that and be able to tell the story with all that so doing that in a timely fashion was a little difficult but doable something to keep in mind that the hope for that kind of came from the before times of podcasting i guess which was like at the time networks were picking up shows and and paying them. So that was kind of like we were trying to hop onto that. Thank you to Anthony for sending in the trailer for Stuck on Sound. This may be the first trailer we're featuring that doesn't actually have a show to go along with it. So Anthony and team, even though the show is on the shelf for now, we hope to hear Stuck on Sound in the near future. And who knows, maybe there is someone out there listening who wants to fund a project just like this. And folks, did you know that we're nearing the end of season one of Trailer Park? We've got one regular episode left in our season and then some bonus stuff. We think you'll really like the bonus content we're planning. It's not throwaway content or extra stuff we couldn't fit in. It's like what we would share in our patron only feed if we had a Patreon page, but we don't. So you get it in this feed. It'll just be marked as bonus. While you patiently wait for the bonus content after season one, submit your own show to potentially be featured on a later season of Trailer Park. We're always taking submissions at trailerparkpodcast.crd.co. You can also reach us by email. That's hello at trailerparkpod.com. We're on Instagram at trailerpark underscore podcast. We're back at you next week with another trailer. Ariel and I will be back in the virtual Squadcast studio. Until then, keep hitting play on those podcast trailers. But Tim, what about Trailer Park sponsors? Great question. Thanks for asking. We are supported by the Vocaster from Focusrite, and we're giving one away on every episode of season one. We've given away six so far. Could you be the seventh one? 
click the link in our show notes to enter. We're also sponsored by OSHA, Recast Studio, OGX Labs, and CapShow. To learn more about these tools that make our podcast run smoothly, check out our show notes and social media posts. This show is written by Ariel Nissenblatt and Tim Viegas. That's me. It's mixed and designed by me. Our artwork is by Kyle Slichta. Thanks for listening. Happy trails. Hi, diehard trailer park fans. You'll notice that there's no fun blooper content here, but maybe next week.